So we have a yet another new web browser in the wild, but this time I think we got good one in terms of look and feel and usability. Plus it's also a security and privacy focused web browser. It is called Neo. It's from the Norton. And I'm pretty sure you have heard about this company before. Yeah, they make the antivirus and all that. They are very popular. Okay, now they have a web browser. The browser that I'm using right now to show you this website is actually on the new web browser, Neo. I have only one thing to say about this web browser. It's beautiful. We browse in peace. Meet Norton Neo, the world's first AI native browser that doesn't compromise power and privacy. Now these days, you know, every company is trying to put AI into their stuff. The softwares, even the hardwares, you know, we can't escape AI. Okay, it's impossible. Everyone is trying to implement some kind of AI in their product. So yeah, this web browser also comes with AI feature. But again, as I said, this is actually a good web browser. There is a reason why. It's privacy focused web browser and all the AI things you do are stored locally. And I think for the people who care about their privacy and they're too scared of using AI blindly, this is a good news. This is actually a privacy focused web browser, even though it has AI feature. So this is the official website. Uh, you can go here and learn more about this plus download this. You can just click on download Neo and this web browser is available for Windows, Mac. So to download it, just click on the download link and install it as you install the other program. It's pretty simple and straightforward. And this web browser comes from a pretty well-known company, Norton, who makes security related products, okay, the antiviruses and all that. So you can expect to respect your privacy. That's good rhyme actually. <laughs> Once you install this, this is the homepage very clean i'm using the dark mode but there is a light mode too the home page is pretty simple we have a chat box here yeah it's ai chat box plus you can do regular searches or you can you know enter the url okay it's an all-in-one box ai is just extra feature if you want to use it and they call this a magic page the home page of this and i think this is simple beautiful Okay, nothing much going on here. You can add widgets. I'll talk about that as we go through this video because by default, it actually adds all the widgets. Uh, uh, there are clock widgets. Actually, let me show you guys here. At the bottom, there is a widget icon. You can click on it. And here you can enable clock, weather, invite, and feed. I have disabled all of them, but if you want to use it, you can enable it. Now you have clock at the top. You can also enable the weather. Okay, I don't want to share my exact location, so I have this disabled. When we do search, you can see the first option it's giving us is chat or we can do search. So let's do a regular search. And yes, it uses Google. Okay, now let's do that again. Hello, but this time we're gonna click on chat. Okay, that's the first option or we can just hit enter. Now we are chatting with the AI. So we can ask anything that we want, like ask for help or something, you know, how to use uh, AI, you know, chat GPT, Gemini, I'm pretty sure you have used it or you're using it. So it's similar to that. Now look at the interface of this browser. It's clean. Okay, so uh, right now I'm in Google. Uh, at the top, you can see hello searched. Now we can get the URL here from any website. Let's say I'm going to open here. The URL bar is not full. It's like small pill and there is a description. We can copy the URL. There is a copy button. We can bookmark this. Now to the top right side, there is a new chat option. We can click on it and here we can chat with AI. Here we can ask anything related to the website that we are on. Let me show you guys another thing. Here I'm going to do a couple of searches. Now I have multiple websites opened here, but you can see at the top it's categorizing the websites. In social we have two websites, Facebook and Twitter. Okay, now it's called X. And uh, we have search. So in search we have double searches. Okay and we have entertainment where YouTube is opened. And each category can be expanded and uh, minimized pretty easily. 
Okay, you just click on the category, you go there and it will expand all the tabs inside that category and you can select the tab and go in there. This is actually an amazing feature. But let's say you don't like this. You can actually turn this off, the category. Okay, it's called Smart Tab Grouping. So there is a icon to the top right side. You can click on it to turn it off. And if you want to enable it, you turn it on and it will automatically categorize all the websites for you. Now, it also supports vertical tabs. Okay, so there is this icon, turn on vertical tabs. You just click on it and it will turn on the vertical tabs. To be honest, I actually like the regular tabs, the horizontal ones, but I know some people out there, they just love the vertical tabs. And I forgot to mention this message from the web browser. Your privacy matters. Neo doesn't store your chat history on our servers. It's saved on your device. There are a couple of buttons here, chat history, browsing history, and image gallery. Let's go to chat history. Here you'll see all the chat history. Okay, you have done with the Neo AI or Neo AI Assistant. Uh, this is my first chat. I was asking what AI do you use? Uh, it said that I'm um, Neo browser, an AI personal assistant built into the browser that uses advanced machine learning systems to understand and respond to questions. Help with searches, draft messages, generate images and more. I can't share internal model or training details, but uh, I can explain how I work and all that. But then I asked, I mean, are you Gemini or ChatGPT? I meant to say that, are you using Gemini or ChatGPT model or something? So it said, I am Neo Browser, an AI personal assistant built by Google. So I don't know what they mean by Google. They're probably talking about the Gemma, the open source AI model by Google, so maybe it's based on that. Let's not go too deep into AI. I'm pretty sure you guys know about the AI. Everyone knows about the AI, how to use it and all that. Let's just talk about the web browser. Again, this web browser feels good, okay? The look and feel, the usability is just amazing. It's minimal, even the default homepage is clean. They call it magic page, this is like very clean, okay? Here we can put URL, search, or just chat with AI. Now at the bottom left side, there is a new settings option. There is the setting icon. You click on it. Here you can do the new browser settings. Things like we can enable vertical tabs, auto hide, and other tabs related settings, okay? We have AI mode. Here we can change the AI profile. Uh, let's change it to something else. Uh, maybe doggo. <laughs> what? Doggo. And you can see at the top, the Neo AI chat uh, icon has changed to doggo. By default, local AI is enabled. With the local AI disabled, some Neo functionalities will not be available. I don't know what, but yeah. Let's enable it. Now it says, enjoy the full power of Neo. So it uses both online and local AI. And then we have shortcuts, personalize here. Here you can enable and disable the memories. If you enable it, it will remember how you browse the internet and the things you look for and all that. And based on that, it will give you suggestions. And then we have security. Here we can enable safe browsing, which is enabled by default. It also supports ad block enabled by default, and there are many other options related to security. Now, to the top right side, there is the three dot menu. We can click on it, and here you'll see something familiar. Yeah, this thing is based on Chromium, so it looks similar to Chrome, okay? If I go into settings and then go to about Neo, here you can see Neo is made possible by the Chromium open source project. So yeah, it's based on Chromium, similar to Chrome. And yeah, it supports all the Chrome extensions. Okay, so you can install any Chrome extension that you want. Now, if I highlight any text on the web page, it's going to give you a little icon. Here we have two options when we hover our mouse. We can chat, it will explain what that is, and we can summarize. Yeah, it's a AI feature. I mean, if you like it, good. If you don't, you know, again, as I said, 
Now, these days, everyone is trying to put AI into their product. So we can't really escape AI. You'll see AI everywhere. But the thing is, with this web browser, let's say I don't like the AI in this web browser, okay? Let's say I don't want to use AI. I don't like the AI, but I like the web browser, okay? The look and feel of this web browser is good. Even the default new tab, just simple. I have seen other AI web browsers from ChatGPT and other AI companies. Those AI browsers are worse than this web browser in terms of both the user experience and privacy and security concerns. First of all, this web browser looks clean. I think I'm repeating myself now, but yeah, this web browser looks clean. I like how it works. And even if it has AI, you are in control, at least according to the company. And I don't think they're gonna lie about that they care about our privacy and security. If they do, then nobody's gonna use this since the company makes antiviruses and all that. So they should be able to keep their promise and uh, again you know it stores your data the ai chat history and everything locally i like this web browser not because of the ai feature because the web browser itself is good the look and feel the way it works is better than any other web browser out there i just like the way it works now about the ai Right now, there is always going to be a privacy and security concerns, no matter which AI you pick, Gemini, ChatGPT, or any, okay? Some may be good, some may be worse, <laughs> okay? I'm not gonna say best. Uh, so similar to every other AI chatbot, this might be same, okay? Maybe it's good, maybe it's worse. And in terms of how powerful it is and what it can do, maybe, it's not that good. I mean, according to the chatbot itself, they're using AI assistant built by Google. So they're probably using a open sourced model from Google. Maybe it's also pretty good at what it does. I like this web browser because the browser is good, <laughs> not because AI is good, <laughs> okay? And the promises the, the company is making like, this web browser is more private and secure. So, yeah, again, I have tested other AI web browsers. They are just terrible. And this is probably the best browser. I'm not gonna say AI browser, just the browser. This is actually a good web browser, probably one of the best web browser. And I might start using this as my default web browser. First, I'll do some tests, you know, I'll, I mean, I'll have to use it to do the test. Now, one thing about me, I actually don't use my main browser as my default web browser. Like the accounts that I use for my personal use that I wanna keep secure, the browser logged in with those accounts, I don't use that web browser as default. I use a secondary web browser. Right now, I'm using the Google Chrome beta as a default web browser. It acts like a shield for me. Let's say someone sends me a link that's not good. <laughs> okay, that's all I'm gonna say. So it will open in my default web browser where my personal information aren't available. Okay, so if something goes wrong, which never happened to me yet, luckily, but yeah, you got the idea. So before this, I was using the Microsoft Edge, but later I found out that Microsoft Edge uses more system resources and I had to switch to Google Chrome. Now I might go for the Neo browser. Yeah, I actually like this. Now let's do a system resources test. In Google Chrome, there is nothing. In Neo, there is nothing opened. The default pages, okay. Let's open the task manager and uh, Google Chrome is using 220 megabytes of RAM and Neo is using 249. Yeah, almost like 20, 25 megabytes more than Chrome, which is actually good because look at the user interface. Okay, and the features that it offers, the way it works, and it even has a built-in AI chatbot still using almost the same amount of system resources as Google. Again, I have used another AI web browsers and I saw that those AI web browsers were using more than one gigabytes of RAM without using anything on the web browser. Okay, it's actually good. 
Even if you don't like AI, you don't want to use it, yet you don't have to. I mean, the web browser itself is clean and good. I like the way it works and the way it looks. Now these days, I have seen many new web browsers coming out. In one of those new web browsers, I think this is the best web browser. You know, there is this web browser called Zen Browser. This is also a really good web browser. I also like this web browser. But the problem with this web browser is that it's based on Firefox. I know some people like Firefox, some don't. I feel like most don't because there are many problems with the Firefox. Uh, I'm not gonna try to hate on them, but yeah. Let's just say Chrome just works better than Firefox. But yeah, I like the Zen browser. It's actually a really good web browser. It looks modern, clean, just like the Neo browser. Neo browser is like the Zen browser alternative for me that I have been looking for based on Chromium. The only thing is that wish we could just remove the AI chatbot from it because I actually don't want to use AI. AI is still a questionable thing for humanity. <laughs> and yeah, that's it for this one. Hope you enjoyed it. But if you have any questions or suggestions or if you have any thoughts on this new web browser, then yeah, do the comment and we can try to have some chit chat in the comment section too. Yeah, that's it. I'll see you in the next one. Take care of yourself and have fun. Bye-bye.